What's up, everybody? My name is Parasite. Welcome back to the Data Analyst with Lester on FM22. Today, we have Salzburg in the Europa League quarterfinal second leg. We've got a mountain to climb after a just absolutely pathetic first leg, a 5-2 loss to Salzburg. If you didn't watch that and you like seeing people rage, that is the episode for you. That was just last episode, so we are back. Two straight episodes of Salzburg, but I had to come back. It's such a big match. And we've got to change things up tactically 100%. So we are going to change things up. We did play one game in between. We played, and it was a decent result, actually. We changed up how we played a little bit. We played West Ham uh, or at home in the Premier League. We beat them 4-1. Like, Stats-wise, it was pretty even. We look at the stats. 20 shots to 15. 10 shots to target to, 10, to 5. I mean, we were the better team, but they weren't completely out of it. So 4-1 maybe makes us look a little bit better than we were. But I completely tried a brand new tactic. Well, brand new for us. It's something I've been testing on in other saves. And it's worked pretty well for me, so I'm, I figured I must try it here. And I'm going to have it against Salzburg, but we're going to change the shape a little bit for that one because I think they're coming out with the 4-4-2 diamond again. So, uh, obviously I want to play three at the back, but we need three goals. I need to be attacking, so I cannot do that. I want at least three midfielders, but I want two strikers as well. I think we need at least two strikers. So other, you know, the only way we get three midfielders is if we play like a narrow formation or an asymmetrical one, which I think I'm just going to go 4-4-2. But I think we would go with the advanced wingers, like in the attacking midfielder role instead of central midfield, because we need goals. We need three goals. We need to be as attacking as we can, and they're not for the threat down the flank, so there's not like they're going to be out of position. Like fullbacks can cover up for their fullbacks perfectly, so... Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. So this is what we played last match, just the 4-4-2. A little bit more aggressive this time. The roles I got, roaming playmaker, I like. This is a counterattacking tactic, so I like roaming playmakers in that because if you read their role description, uh, driving forward with the ball to spearhead attacks as well as tracking back to cover defensively. Uh, must have the physical attributes to maintain a high intensity. And we'll look to build, pick up, this is the big thing, we'll look to pick up the ball in deep positions and work the ball forwards with urgency, all while keeping up the play. That's exactly what I want from a play, from a central midfielder in a counterattacking tactic. Pick up the ball, go forward with urgency, and find the pass or find the run. Or yeah, so I like what he's doing. So I got DD just as a box to box. Got wingers on the outside. They they don't have any. They only have two fullbacks. So I want to destroy them down the wings. I'm actually gonna go. I'm gonna go balls deep on the wings. Complete wing back on attack. Uh, both wingers on attack. I'm going for it. I'm going for it all. We need goals and we need them fast. The reason I made this change is because our only fit strikers, or our only fit center backs, that is, are Vestergaard and Evans. And they're about as slow as I am. So I couldn't go with the high line. I had to change it up. I had to go deep line. And the only way I play a deep line is with a counter attack. So these are the instructions. I've added these a little bit after this, after the last match, just thinking about what I was going to do. Focus down the flanks. Since they've got the narrow formation, just dominate down the flanks, but narrow attacking width. I think I'm actually going to play out of defense, too. Shorter passing, higher tempo, play for set pieces. This is kind of the fluid counterattack preset, but a little bit, a few changes by me. Like, counter, fluid counterattack doesn't have play out of defense or focus down the flanks or play for set pieces. It has shorter passing, higher tempo, run at defense, uh, throw it long. I, th I put on there, but it comes with direct, uh, this should be quickly counter counter press. But our goalkeeper has good long throws, so I want him to throw it long to start the counterattack because he has the trait to start counterattacks with the long throw. So I wanted to use that. Lower defensive line, lower line of engagement, more often pressing, get stuck in, force opposition outside. Definitely what I want to do for this match. And I put in use tighter marking because I think it makes sense with the lower line to mark tight. Like you're not, you don't have as many worries about players just dribbling past you. So I think tighter marking makes sense. And I can play it either balanced, attacking, or cautious. I'm, I'm going to start with balanced today, I think, even though I need goals. But if I go to positive, it stays on shorter passing, so maybe I'll go positive. I usually don't really use positive, but I think I might use it for this one. Uh, I don't think there's any other things I'm really going to change up. because we Obviously, we don't see their analytical data because we don't have their league loaded. But... I mean, this is kind of, I've kind of almost gone away from the whole point of this series. The whole point is to tailor the tactic to the opposition. But I think this time we are tailoring the tactic to the situation. 
like with the situation we're in, with the center backs we've got, this is what we have to play. So this is what I'm going to play. Let's see if it works. Like I, I need three goals. We've got four days. Everyone should be fit. Some tired players, they should be fine. Let's go. All right, team. We owe Red Bull Salzburg after what happened in that last match. Go out there and get revenge. Johnny, Ricardo, Marcus, I trust you to make the difference tonight. Make me proud, boys. We've got a mountain to climb, but I know we can do it. I believe in this team. Believe in yourselves. And let's go win a football match. The weather out there is less than ideal. How will that affect the, the match? We're flexible and adaptable, and I expect us to play to our standards. Can you talk about why Ricardo Pereira looks to be set in a different role today? I mean, we need to attack. He has the ability to play in a number of different ways while maintaining the same standard of performance. I trust him a lot. Ricardo Pereira has been in good form lately and starts again today. How happy have you been with his form? Uh, he's playing well. I'm excited about how happy how he's been impacting our play. All right, we need three goals just to get it even. Win loss, win loss. I don't like the uh, kind of how it's going. I mean, that kind of means loss today. That Salzburg just don't lose because they're the best team in a not very good league. So that's, I mean, I guess that's the one thing they have on us. They are always in amazing morale because they don't lose games in the Austrian Bundesliga. So we actually do lose games because we're in the Premier League, so our morale is not as good as they are. But we just need we just need goals. Goals, goals, goals. We're not very good at scoring them this season, but we've shown we can do it. Scored four last match. We score four this match. We'll go through. So, yeah, just I feel like I have to keep going with this counterattacking because our center backs are so slow. Johnny Evans actually picked up a little bit of a knock. So he's not fully fit for this match, but I literally don't have another center back. Like, who's my... I have a Marty. That's my only other center back, and he's garbage. That is the worst possible start. Eight minutes in, and we concede. That is tie over. We need five. Five to win. Four to draw even. How does this even happen? What a ball over the top. Like, that is just, that is ridiculous. Why is a player playing for Red Bull Salzburg able to make that pass? Like, I'm pretty sure they don't do that very often. I mean, in the biggest situation, perfectly placed. Everything about it is just absolutely perfect. What can you do in that case? Attacking. Berate. Everyone has been awful. A huge match at home, needing a bunch of goals, and they crap their pants. Vestergaard. That is the only thing you're supposed to do well, Vestergaard. It goes in, though. Oh, my God. That is how we have to score. That right there is how we have to score. We are so bad at scoring. Vestergaard is so bad at scoring. We need a ball to be speed. <laughs> dribbling across the line after a blocked header. More of those, please. Give me more of those. I love it. Super high XG, though. You have a free kick now. Looking for Vestergaard, I hope. Okay. Oh, it's the goalkeeper. That's good try. Good try. Good try. That was god awful. <sighs> Evans. I mean, the deep the deeper line actually makes a lot of sense with the strikers they have. But like, I don't know if I can be deep enough where they can't just smoke our center backs. All they need is like a phone booth of space, and they could be past our center backs in no time. I don't like that. That was not comfortable. Albrighton's going to get there, I think. Going to keep it on. He's got a good crossing. Doesn't have much to aim for right now, though. Ricardo. Back post. Marcus Edwards. Heads. Oh, it's across the crossbar, I think. Um, I think that's on. I'm pretty sure that's on. It is on, boys. We need two more. We need two more. Halftime. 2-1. Goal awarded. Just do this again without the conceding part. Do this again in the second half. What a save. Oh, excuse me. What a save by Cone. That's going to go half time. 2 1. We've been better. I don't care about possession. This literally doesn't try for any possession. It's all about counterattacking. One clear cut chance, one half chance. We've been the better team. We just need to continue that goal scoring performance into the second half. More of that, please. Time for the team talk. All right, lads. I'm happy with the number of shots and targets so far today. We needed more of that in the second half. Take your chances in front of goal, and we can win this football match. Go out there. Show no let up. Work your butts off. I believe in you. Believe in yourselves, and we can win this. 
Her first highlight of the second half starts in the 57th minute. Not ideal. We need to be doing a lot more this half. We, we had a lot of highlights in the first half. Of course, one of them wasn't ours. This one's also not ours. What is Schmeichel doing? He, like, got as small as physically possible. Like, that was literally headed directly over him, and he crouched. I need to see this again. It literally looked like he tried to make himself as small as possible. I want to see this. Watch Schmeichel. He bends down. Like, it's above you, not below you, you idiot. And Mark Edwards is injured. Great, I don't have another left-footed winger. Uh, Madison's coming in. He can play winger. He's not. He got a decent left foot. We have to go for it. We have to go all out now. We need four goals, three goals. We need three goals to tie. Four goals to win. Also known as, we lose. Because this team is not capable of doing that. This team is too incompetent. Not going to play for set pieces. Not going to play out of defense. Still going to go down the flanks. Overlap. Go. Let's go fairly wide. Still going to throw it long. Distribute quickly. Do I push up the line of engagement? I have to. I have to go with a big gap between our lines because I just don't have any other choice. I literally don't have any other choice. Definitely prevent goal short goalkeeper distribution. Uh, I can't push my line up defensively, otherwise they will score. If I do that, they will 100% score. I mean, they don't need it. To, they can have big scores as a lower line, but because we've been incompetent so far. But we have to push the line up, or have to push the, the line of engagement up. Just stop them from getting all the time they want on the ball. Like, otherwise, they'll just pass around in their defense for 30 minutes. It'll be game over. Vestigard, you're so bad in front of goal. He's heading. is so bad. He, he can get his head on it, but he never puts it in the back of the net. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a single goal directly from a header all season long. And he's huge, and it's disallowed, because of course it is. Madison was offside. Let's see how close this was. That's close. That's very close. Great. Very attacking. How can we not stop... Salzburg from scoring at will. Oh my god, you are so incompetent. Luckily, Adiemi takes another big touch, but good lord. Johnny Evans is the worst footballer I might have ever seen in my entire life. He might be the worst I've ever seen. Literally, you just walk right past him, like he's not even there. Who needs to come out? Move. Madison, the roaming playmaker, taking Tielemans out. He's just awful. Never performs. Uh, he had not just coming in for Daka. Luke Thomas is coming out for Bertrand. Actually, I think Justin's a better play. Ah, their crossing is actually, I think Bertrand actually has a better crossing. I'll go with Bertrand, and he's left footed, so that makes sense. All right. One, one state change left to make. I don't think it's going to matter, though. No change in the world is going to put us back in this game. No change anyone in the world could ever make. You could put Klopp. Or, good lord, I hate this team. How are you so incompetent? I know we're down our two starting center backs, but these are profession, professional players. They certainly as hell don't act like it. We, they scored eight on us over two legs. And we have a deeper line. We're not playing stupidly attacking. I hate our defense so much. They're so bad. I mean, everyone on our team is so bad, but... We need three more, which isn't going to happen because they're probably going to score again. We have the worst defense I've ever seen. This might literally be the worst defense I've ever used in Football Manager. This one right here. I'm not talking about the season long. I mean, the players we currently have on the pitch might be the worst set of defenders I have ever used in Football Manager. I've never conceded three goals to a crappy team at home like this before. It's unbelievable. Literally, the other one, Johnny Evans just got run right past. Like, he wasn't even... I know Adi is fast, but you're being paid a lot of freaking money, Johnny Evans. You're being paid more than he is, and he's absolutely destroying you. Like, you're a semi-pro. Like, you're freaking... I don't know. I just don't even know. He's not even... Not a professional. Definitely not a professional. Like, a Sunday league. That's what I want to say. Like, you're a freaking Sunday league player. He is beating you. Unbelievable.
We need three. I hear Nacho. You need to score this. Barnes. Of course he makes that save. Vardy. Two more. Eight minutes to score two goals. Gonna encourage the team. Nice ball from Mahia Nacho. Lucky not, unlucky not to score it. Vardy, good shot. We got one sub left to make. I don't know what we make. I don't know the sub. I have no idea what sub this can be. Like, I can't, like, I want to still double up down the flanks. So I don't really want to bring off a fullback or a wingback. Like, I want to bring on another striker. But I don't want to take off a midfielder. I don't want to take off a fullback. I can't take off a center back. I don't want to take off a winger. So. I mean, I guess just put Jamie Vardy as advanced forward. Uh, I'm already going as freaking attacking as I almost possibly can. Let's do this. Shadow Striker. And then last sub. Didi's actually played well for the first time in his life. Albright has a really good crossing, so I don't really want to take him off. 17, I think it is. Yeah, 17 crossing. Even though he's not done anything this match. I mean, I want to take Ricardo Pereira. He's got to come off. 6.2. There's our changes. Seven minutes. Come on. If you pull this off, I'll take you out for ice cream. I don't know. It'll be the biggest shock of my life if they pull this off. Literally the biggest shock of my life. It's not going to happen, though. They're probably going to score again. Madison. Ahinacho, you have to score this. If you don't score this, we lose. It's five. We need one more. How are we doing this? We were the worst team football has ever seen in the first half. We score, like, three or four goals. With no problem. No trouble. I don't understand this team. I've said this many times. I do not understand this team. It seems like they play when they want to. If they don't want to play well, they refuse to play well. If they want to play well, they can score on anybody. A little bit wider. More expressive. Uh, long kicks now. Yeah. Got a minute. We need another goal. It's not going to happen. We're going to be one short. One goal short of the comeback. One awful defensive performance away from a comeback. I mean, the, the strikers and the attackers did everything they could. They just could not carry this horrific defense. 1.5 XG, three goals. That is a testament to how bad our defense and Schmeichel is. Schmeichel, uh, he should be good. He's one of the better goalkeepers in the Premier League in real life. In this game, he's about as average as you can find in the world. He's the most average goalkeeper I've ever seen. <sighs> so frustrating. Should have won that match by more. Should not have allowed three goals. In no, in no way should we have ever allowed three goals. Well, lads, we gave it our best shot, but it just wasn't to be. I can't be too critical of you out there. Each one, each and every one of you gave your all. We just came up one goal short. I know you're disappointed. I'm disappointed. But now we just have to work. Defenders, after those two legs, there's a lot of work needing to be done. Casper, a lot of work needs to be put in. But you and the defense to right what just happened. Right the wrongs. Strikers, attackers, you gave it your all. It just wasn't to be. We were so close. I can't fault you. Good try, boys. A disappointing result. In your view, what happened today? I, mean, I don't like the result, but I did like what I we did, a lot of what we did out there. We'll be fine most of the time playing like that. What are your thoughts about the aggregate of defeat? Uh, if we deserved to go three, we would have won the tie. It's that simple. How good is Kareem Adeyemi out there? I mean, he's unplayable. With our defense, they just never stood a chance. 
He's just far too fast, far too good. And our defenders are just far too bad. We need Kalechi, not Kalechi, we need a Staglar, and we need uh, Fofana to come back if we stand any chance of doing anything in the league. Because the champion, the Europa League's over, Europe is over. I think we're out of all the cups. Are we out of all the cups? Knocked out, knocked out. Yeah, we're out of all the cups. We're out of everything but the Premier League. And it's even not looking very good. Mark Sedgwick's out three to six weeks. That is a bitter blow because he's probably our best player. Ahi and Nacho had a good game. Actually, James Madison might be our best player, but it's between James Madison and Marcus Edwards. Is that what this says for the average rating for the season? Because I feel like it's those two. Kalechi actually has the highest average rating. Pofana, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Patson, kind of surprising. Madison, Edwards are up there, though. Jimmy Vardy is up there. But, like, ah, that, I don't understand that. Offensively, we've been awful, yet three of our strikers are in the top five in terms of average rating. Again, I guess a lot of it's recently, because, like, Start of the season, we were doing all right scoring. We scored nine against Antwerp. Five, three, three, three. Good run there. Three, three, four, two, three. But it's just like from here on, we struggled. Like, that's a long time of not being able to score consistently. Zero, zero. Got the three. One, one, zero, one, one, two, two, zero. Four against Fulham, but it's Fulham. Two, one, 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 three, three. Good stretch there, but one of them is Kingsland Town. One, one, four, Burnley. One, zero, one, six. Don't understand. Zero, two, two, four, five. So hopefully that means we have things turned around a little bit with this new counterattacking tactic. But, I mean, we scored nine goals in two matches. And we've, it took us what? I mean, not counting the six nil. It took us what? Two, four, five, six. Seven, eight, like nine Premier League matches to get as many goals as we've gotten in the last two. Yeah, I, I don't understand this team. Maybe they can only counterattack. Maybe that's just ingrained in their DNA. They can only they only know how to counterattack. They can't play as the better team. They have to be the underdog. <sighs> uh, it's frustrating to be out of the Europa League. I felt we definitely deserve to win it. I mean, we're. We should have won that. We were the much better team. Like It's not even close how much better we are than Salzburg. It's just two players kept us from winning that match. Right here. That is why we lost. Two and a half star players. Probably worse than Salzburg center backs. If we had our starting center backs, we win that tie. I have no doubt in my mind. We win that tie if we have both center backs. <sighs> Wasn't to be. When do we come back? Arsenal, maybe? Do we have... Let's see, we've got Burnley. I don't think we need to show Burnley again. We've already seen them, like, once or twice. and They destroyed... I think we only showed them once, but... We destroyed them every time we played them, so we know how to play Burnley. Arsenal, Norwich, Southampton, Aston Villa, Brighton, Tottenham. What are Arsenal? Arsenal in seventh. So they're kind of a threat in our spot of getting Europa League. You know, I think I'll come back for Arsenal, then maybe Aston Villa, then Tottenham to end it. I think that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, I'll probably be seeing you next time for the Arsenal match. Hopefully, we can. Hopefully, this means we've turned it around in terms of offensively. Defensively, we're still awful until we get our starting center backs back, which is soon. Fortunately, it is soon. Uh, Bofana, seven days. Soyuncu, five to ten days. So, probably for the Arsenal match, maybe just barely. Fofana should be. Actually, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe a little. Maybe the. Game after Arsenal, they might be back. So I should maybe take an extra game more than Fofana. Depends if it's five or seven, five or ten. So, all right, well, frustrating episode, but I can't be too upset. We gave it our all. We played hard. We put up five goals. It just wasn't to be. That's gonna be the end of this episode, though. If you made it this far, why don't you like the video, subscribe, and click the bell. The links to all my socials and my Twitch are in the description. I really appreciate all your support. Thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you next time.